What? Hey, fellas. Three o'clock. I went in early. I still, you know, took a while to get my brain together, like cobwebs in my head or something. Oh, something was off. Kept urinating, urinating, like, what the... You know what I'm saying? I don't know. But anyhow, uh, yeah, good workout. I only I only recorded one uh, squat. I didn't I didn't even I didn't even feel like recording. I just wanted to get through it. But I'm still working it so that I'll. Pee. <laughs> but I'm still working it so that I'll peek out right around the meat other than that it's just what it is i'm doing all three lifts on the same day all right i'm working threes and twos no singles uh i went i did bench i did floor bench again because there was no one in the place and uh i need safeties or something you know so well, floor bench is good because you start, you know, when you come down, you're in that spot where everyone, you know, binds up, you know, starts grinding. So it's good. It's good. So that's all I'm doing. I mean, it's just the way it is. Started taking some amino acids from GNC. I forgot the flavor. It's nice flavor. It's got electrolytes in it. One scoop. It's all right. Uh, what else? That's about it. I didn't eat, so I'll eat tonight. I don't want to eat. I mean, you know. Uh, yeah. If you, I don't know. I, I'm planning for a meet, so I got to plan for a peak. Now, when you, whatever that goal is, be it a meet or whatever, you gauge where you where that date is, and then you backtrack to where you are. All right. And then you see what your plan is of ones that you know, something that's possible. You know. And then gauge yourself at five or ten pounds a week. You know, starting back with something that's easy. Like, I wouldn't say 50% for me, but when I start out, I can't remember. Say about 70%, you know. And they do reps instead of singles. And I do sets of reps, you know, three for three or three for two, stuff like that. Like I did three for a two tonight. What I do? Three ten. Whoop de do, huh? But it was enough, hey, because I wore, you know, I pyramid it up. Uh, I think everyone's with their super duper plans, but pyramiding's a good way to work out because you get both muscle sets. You get the fast twitch and the slow twitch because you're getting reps, and you're working up to a double or a single, so it works out fine. Other than that, I'm pretty bushed, and I really and I took three days off, but I did a lot of. Yard work, and I got yard work. It ain't like a little, you know, I'm talking about. And, uh, hey, uh, I mean, you're on your treadmill and all that bullshit, and you got yard work? Do the yard work, man. You got a little yard, and you got a riding mower? Get a push mower, brother. Anyhow, <coughs> you saw, excuse me. <coughs> I'm still, it's driving me nuts. It's really driving me nuts. I don't know if it's hay for you or what. But like I said, I felt pretty good after the last workout. This workout, I feel all right. I feel better than when I went in. But uh, how I could be overtrained with three days off, uh, you know, that's another thing. You got to figure out for yourself, depending on the type of training you're doing, how many days you need to uh, recoup and heal. You know what I'm saying? Now, if you're doing bodybuilding, you not only recoup, then you got to give it a few days for the muscles to grow. You got two things, recoup and then muscle growth. But, I mean, I'm doing powerlifting. I mean, I'm, you know, once I recoup, I'm fine. Uh, yeah, if I get a little muscle, fine. But other than that, yeah, so you got to figure out your plan. You got to have a plan. You got to have a plan. I mean, I see guys going in here 
and they and it looks it. They don't got no plan. I can tell a guy's got a plan. You know, you got a plan. Let's go in here. I'm gonna work on it. You don't know what you're doing. You got a plan on your food. You got to on that sleep too. You got to get your sleep in, which I have a hard time with. But the one night I slept real good and I went to bed early, I woke up felt like a million bucks. I wish I could do it all the time. We'll see, it's already 3 a.m., fellas. I mean, <laughs> going to bed early is what? Five? Yeah. So f figure out what you need to recoup. Because if you're not letting your body recoup, you're, you're, you're going two steps forward, one step back. Maybe one step forward, two steps back. You understand what I'm saying? And as you get older, you have to recoup more. Now, I don't know about the guys on TRT. That's another whole gig. But then even that, you'd have to figure out how you're recouping, you know? You know, because you're just going to crash and burn. It's just inevitable. So I'm trying to do that, plus get at least two full workouts in where each workout is all lifts, all the three lifts. Uh, kind of a pyramid thing where I'm working on two to three reps at the end. And each week increasing 5 to 10 pounds on 2 to 3 reps. And the way I calculate it out, I'll be ready for maybe a 350 deadlift. 275 minimum bench. Maybe a 225 squat. Because I just started squats, what, a month ago? For the other meet? So two months? And uh, and deadlifts three months? I'm, I'm telling you, you go to depth, man. <laughs> Man, you got to dig out of that hole. It's like shit. <laughs> ain't no three-quarter crap. You're going down, man. You got to dig. And I ain't getting young, you know. I'm surprised I haven't blown a fuse yet. I swear to God, I'm surprised I haven't blown a fuse yet. All right, that's about it. Why am I talking? I'm not going to talk my ears off. So make sure you're getting enough recuperation before your next workout. Only you know. And you might have to experiment. Now, you could go balls to the, you know, balls to the wall, whatever they say. But uh, you're going to crash and burn. Now, like I said, I don't know how the guys are on gear and uh, TRT. Maybe they can, obviously, they can push a little more. But even them, I would think, you got to let time for recoup. No one instantaneously your heels. And depending on what your goal is, Plan, plan to a you know a lot of peak. Well, I'm going for a peak and at a, so I can peak on my meat. But you might say, okay, in three months I'd like to get X two twenty five bench in two months. Okay, so what are you doing now? Calculate it in how much you need to lift each week. See if you can make it. If not, forget it. Drop it down. Don't forget two twenty five. Try two hundred. See if you can handle that. Five pounds 10 pounds a week you know stuff like that okay and there's a lot of good knowledge on uh youtube and the internet so search it out you know don't be doing this by the seat of your pants you better have a book you better have some plans and sometimes your plans will be wrong but at least you have a plan so you can say okay that didn't work let me try something else you go in there haphazardly, you're going to have haphazard results. That's as simple as that. And for you older guys, you got to really plan out, you know. Well, I felt it tonight. I still feel better than when I went in. But I wasn't all bubbly like the last time. Shit, I felt great. <laughs> I don't know what I did. I got to figure out what I ate that night or something. All right, fellas. Let me go. Lift hard and heavy. And I'll catch you on the flip side. Hey, thanks for stopping by. And if it's no, if you, if it's if it, if it ain't such a big effort, you know, smash the like button and subscribe. You know what I'm talking about. You know what the heck. All right, hey, lift hard and heavy. Bye.